Anu, it's welcome to Intelligence Squared. Um, you're a professor and director of the European Legal Studies Center at Columbia Law. You're also working on a new book. The title is The Brussels Effect, How the European Union Rules the World, relevant to our topic tonight. So I guess my uh, question is, who is declaring the war if there is one against the US tech companies? So could we rather not say that there may be a civil war that the American companies are fighting on the European territory? Or what Berin mentioned, the foreign talent that sustain the Silicon Valley's innovation base, the war that the American government has declared against letting that foreign talent further migrate into the United States? Yeah, it's a great question, and, and I should have made this point more clear. I don't think this is as simple as the US versus Europe. I think a lot of what's happening in Europe is that European policy is being weaponized by American companies against each other. The big tech companies are perfectly happy to have the GDPR as a regulatory barrier to entry. It costs millions of dollars to comply. Microsoft, Google, Facebook, of course they can handle those burdens. Smaller companies can't. In the United States, of course, we would love to have more European uh, contributing to our, to our economy. I'd be all in favor of that. The critical point here is that Euro European policymakers are essentially waging war against digital disruption, against the dynamism that has defined the digital revolution for 20 years. And on the other side of that debate, it just happens that all of the companies essentially that they are, that, that, whose burden this is falling upon are American because it's here in the United States that those companies have been able to take off. I think the implication is that when you suggest that any initiative to regulate is a declaration of war from the European side, the question is, what does an unregulated space look like? And I believe that Americans are waking up to this. You, you only need to look at the debates uh, between Democratic uh, presidential candidates to hear a number of proposals of how to sort of curb the excessive and unregulated, maybe libertarian kind of way in which the tech companies are disrupting various aspects of this society. Today, 47 Attorneys general, I'm talking about American state attorneys general, have joined their investigations into antitrust uh, practices by, by Facebook. This has nothing to do with Europe. Maybe Europe was a little bit ahead in understanding the disruption, maybe because it, it confronted the European system of, for example, social welfare and the rights uh, to privacy in a, in a slightly different way than it did American principles. But the idea that any regulatory initiative is an attack against the tech companies is something that this company, of this country, excuse me, uh, regulators and politicians in this country are not accepting it.